I'm going to do a, an abbreviated review on the Recoil REM6 and REM5. On the left is the older um, crossover. Uh, this is uh, probably about a year or two years old. Uh, this is the first series that came out. You can see that there's not much difference between the old design and the new design. All the components are there the same. In the low pass they use a uh, laminated core inductor. Meaning a, is it? Yeah, laminated steel core. Which isn't, whatever. It's, it's not bad. Um, uh, air core is the best. Uh, what, what really an air core has is a, the, the highest saturation point, meaning it can, it can take more power. But um, it's, it doesn't sound any better, so if that makes a difference. There, there's a lot of uh, ghost whispering when it comes to passive crossovers. And you'll, what you'll find out in real life is that um, um, it, it, it's, the, the more simple, the better. So this is a, a pretty simple layout. Uh, this is a 12 dB high pass, 12 dB low pass. And then it has uh, tweeter options uh, that just runs through a resistor. I hate that they do this, but um, again, you got to make it for dummies. Um, the plus dB is not really plus dB, uh, two, two decibels. What it really is is just making it no resistors. So it's naturally that sensitive. Uh, the correct way to do it would be zero dB, which is the loudest. And then you do negative two and then negative four, but whatever. Um, Regular uh, screw terminals that are marked both on the PCB and on the cover. So this is the new cover. This is the old cover. Whatever. Doesn't really make a difference. So uh, this is the REM 6.5. I'll go ahead and just do a sweep. I haven't broken them in or anything like that. Again, these are mids. They're not going to play bass, so they're not meant for that. I'll also do a sweep on the tweeter. They use the, the same tweeter, which I think is a... It looks like a one inch silk dome, so we'll find out the FSN on it here in a second. I'm just using uh, Woofer Tester 3 by Parts Express. It's several years old here on an XP machine. Um, as you can see here, the FS, it'll probably drop down to 55, but again, you're, you shouldn't cross it anything below uh, 100 hertz. So typically I, I do 120 uh, to give them a little better power handling. Uh, and that's the six and a half. On the tweeter we got, uh, looks like about 1600 hertz, uh, which is, you know, fine. Should cross up at about uh, 3.5K or higher. Um, I'd have to figure out the components on the crossover to see what they did at. But typically for mids and tweeters, you wanna go one octave above the FS, uh, if not a little higher, just so you have good a good balance of power handling. Um, Cause that's really the downfall for mids and tweeters is they're super sensitive, but, um, they, you know, people overpower the, the shit out of them, so. But uh, that's just a quick review. Let me, you know what, fuck, I gotta do the, the five and a quarter real quick. Let me do the five and a quarter sweep. So as suspected, the uh, FS on the five and a quarter is higher. It's at about 80 hertz. Um, so again, smaller drivers like that benefit from crossing up higher. So I would cross those up at uh, probably 200 hertz. Um, with that, without any problems. I mean, if you, you only can fit what you can fit in your car, five and a quarters are good to use with an adapter. Uh, when, like, if you have a Ford and you use five by sevens and five by sevens aren't available, or you want components, you know, and the great thing about a situation like that is that you can modify the adapter to to put two tweeters if you want more tweet. So, so when you do use two tweeters, you don't want to use the same crossover. You want to use a separate crossover, uh, and that's why a lot of times um, on these can't remember I never tested them we I wasn't sure if there was problems with them but it, somebody had reported a problem with the original uh, recoil one so what I did was I ended up just swapping out uh, with a 3.3 microfarad cap on the tweeter and that's it and then you let the mid roll off naturally and then the tweeter comes in at about 6k at 6 dB which ends up in real world about 3k which is about what it does anyway so but uh, that's my quick review on these again these are uh, great speakers uh, they're super affordable. I think the six and a halfs are uh, only forty dollars a pair shipped, uh, which is amazing for a speaker like this. Because again, it gets sold for I think typically something like this goes for about one twenty nine, one thirty, up to uh, two hundred dollars at, at Best Buy or some other uh, retail outlet. Uh, the the cost of the five and a quarter should be slightly cheaper, if not the same. Either way, it's not like 
you're getting a better buy if you buy a, a bigger speaker because you know typically you can't fit a bigger speaker and if you want more speakers just you know fucking make an enclosure and and put you know put them in enclosures so and that's what that's what six by nines are for and that's what you know i did for uh hawk the other day we used the uh the two a duels that i have for 25 for a pair and then he he got eight of them which was incredible and then we just ran all eight off of a two channel lamp i use those personally with a little pile uh class t chip amp um to two by 15 watts but i like it because it has a uh, bass and treble controls that's it so and that also powers a subwoofer but anyways i love you guys uh check out those things i'll put a, the link on for this as well um to the amazon store just check on the amazon store every once in a while the the everything got shipped out of the warehouse so it's not like they're at the warehouse and I, again i do have some stuff here if you want something right away i'll give it to you for the same price so love you talk to you later